Oh, turkey nipple sauce! Son of a bitch! You whore! Who did it? Who did it? It's you. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're back with more of the Hammer of God Simulator. No time for BS. So the last time we took our sledgehammer of greatness and planted it across the face of all those who had wronged us and planted across faces we did. Uh, we managed to, I think, pretty much smash down everyone that had ever given us issues. Uh, we hammered the police. We hammered Techno Viking. We hammered some random guy that tried to run us over just because he was there at the time. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it was a pretty fulfilling day. I've got a whole table full of sausage here. I had gotten about 7,000 marks and I spent a bunch of money on refueling the giant tanker. And I also spent some money on a bunch of sausage because we always seem to need sausage, man. I'm gonna tell you what, in this game, all right. Oh, okay. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yep, gotcha. Koto Spade and all there have you. I was waiting for that call. That means that our performance parts are all prepared in the store for us. So it's, um, what is it? It's like 4.30 right now. So we can't pick them up. And that's fine anyway. Because I've got the, I've got the sauna going. So what we're going to do is we're going to, going to sauna eyes real quick. Get, catch a nap. And then... In a fresh new day at like 6 a.m., we're going to head on out and get the hell over to the store. I think I'm going to take the muscle car out. We haven't taken the muscle car out in a while, and a bunch of people wanted me to go ahead and drive it. And I'll let you know, I listened to all of your comments. I try and respond to as, as many people as I can. People had said, lower the back wheels on the giant tanker to gain extra stability. I will do so. Hold on, I'll clean up a little more of this stuff for you guys. I know this pisses people off. Uh... The, a couple of people asked me about my hubcaps. I hate the hubcaps. They just, they look absolutely terrible. So I'm going to leave those off because they, they just, they just look bad. I mean, let's be, let's be set. Let's be real about this. All right. Come on. Pepperoni pizza or whatever you are. There we go. Someone said, I think it's a, uh, a minced meat pizza. That's what it should be. Let's go ahead and, oh, hold on. Let me close this. Let no one ends up taking our shit. Let's go ahead and pile into the sauna and get clean here. Oh, you guys left me an awesome tip, too. You would said that the sauna no longer has to get to 100 degrees. Um, I don't know when that was changed. It was not like that when the game first came out. You had to get the sauna to 100, well, 100 Celsius. Uh, well, actually, what what is this in? I mean, this would be in Celsius, right? That would be really hot. I don't know, whatever. But uh, it doesn't have to be 100 anymore. You can, I've had it as low as like 50, I think, and it's worked. Let's go ahead and start throwing this, throwing this water, getting ourselves nice and steamed up, baby. Yeah. And then tomorrow's the day. We're going to install all those performance parts. All right, man, here we go. Nice new day is upon us. Six o'clock in the morning. You guys know what, what happens when it's six o'clock in the morning. Hold on. Let's go grab a sausage real quick. Okay, let me jump on the table and then grab a sausage. There we go. When it's six o'clock in the morning. It's time for a little, a little beer. Oh, you know what? Hold on here. There we go. What is this? Hold on. Is it? What the hell? Is this a new channel? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen this before. All right. Well, let's, let's see what it is. Hold on. Just kind of, let me go crack open a beer here. Ah, there we go. See if we can get it on top of the TV. Hold on here. Yep. Oh, it went through the TV. That's interesting. So, this is Topless Gun is Gone? Oh, that's too bad. Now it's just kind of... Just kind of this. Just kind of this ominous, strange, dark music. It feels like I'm... It feels like I'm in the Slender Man universe or something. All right. Well, that's enough of that. Let's get the hell out of here. I thought to myself that I might need to grab some fluids while I was out, and then I forgot all about this. <laughs> We still have a whole bunch of fluid sitting in the back of this old muscle car. I totally forgotten about it. Let's pile on in here and get the crap out of here. Holy shit, we have... Wow, there's like fluids down here too. Um, let's kind of go over there. A little piece of sausage. Another sausage. This beer case, you need to sit over there. <laughs> Got a macaroon box over here. And what the hell? Another DOT. 
Another DOT fluid. Been a while since we had the muscle car out. Let me tell you, a lot of people were asking, can you rip the engine out of the muscle car and put it inside of uh, Satan Man's pussy car? Not yet. I, I'm hoping that that's something that they'll probably add to the game. Uh, but as of right now, we cannot. There, I've, I've bashed my head. Well, I'll show you guys. Once we get to the store, if I remember, I'll bash my head into the engine compartment of the muscle car and I'll show you. You can't select anything in there yet. There's no way to pop the hood. There's been, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, like, people saying that they could get the hood open by crashing hard enough and all that sort of thing. I don't know, man. I haven't seen anything like that. And besides that, it doesn't look like anything inside of the engine compartment is selectable anyway. So that's kind of a game design function. But I think eventually, hopefully, the uh, things will change and we will be able to go inside of this vehicle and get some stuff done. You guys also wanted to see how fast it would go on the roadway, so we're gonna try and do that as well. Man, I took the, uh, I took, uh, Saint Man's Pussy Car out for a little bit with the rally tires on. Holy shit, it does great on these back roads now. Well, I guess that's what the rally tires are meant for. But, oh god, oh no, no, don't you do this to me, muscle car. Okay, good. No, oh Jesus. There we are. I'm getting pretty damn good at recovering, though. Let me tell you what. People were saying to um, replace the steering wheel. I'll do that. And like I said, I wanted to get the innards taken care of first. So once we get all these performance parts and we get all that crap installed, we're going to do a couple things. Um, not only are we going to try and get the rest of the, the cosmetic parts, I really need to gain a ton of money so I can buy the custom paint job. Because I've had a couple people make me custom paint jobs. And, like, I'm really thankful for that. And that's totally awesome that you guys are taking the time to do that. That's really cool. Um, hold on. Let me go into normal drive here now that we're on the roadway. So, I want to check those custom paint jobs out. But, damn it, they cost a ton of in-game money. 2,100 or 21,000 marks for a fucking in, custom in-game paint job, man. So, it's going to be a little bit. All right. So, here's the police checkpoint. Remember this, guys? I wonder... Do they remember what I did to them? <laughs> Hold on, let's find out. Let's find out. I don't think they do. Because they're not... It doesn't look like they're coming after me or anything. Alright, hold on. Go ahead and stop here. Throw this thing in park. We've only had one beer today. So we should be fine. Go ahead and open the door here. Hopefully nothing's coming at us. Alright, buddy. I'll blow into your whistle. Uh. I like that shit. Look good? Look good? Yeah. Yeah, you know that shit looks good. All right, let's get out of here. So, someone had mentioned that you get tickets, like, on your refrigerator. I hadn't looked. I totally forgot about that. We're going to have to look. Oh, my God. I got to get on the roadway so I can straighten us out. Because if I don't, the, um, if I don't straighten out our vehicle, I'm going to be canted like this while we're freaking driving. Oh, turkey nipple sauce! Son of a bitch! You whore! Who did it? Who did it? It's you. Oh, this is what I get for not bringing the freaking hammer with me. I should have brought the sledgehammer with me for times like this. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Oh my god. Whoa! Holy shit, we just got passed by Techno Viking and he didn't hit us. That's like the first time I've ever seen that happen. Wow. I'm really impressed. I, every time that bastard has come up behind me and I've missed it, I think he's killed me. All right, you boys want to see what this muscle car can do? Let's freaking do this shit. Here we go. 90 miles an hour. Come on, baby. 100. Can I get 100? No, it looks like it's topping right out at about 100. Or about 90 something. So, it kind of flatlined right there. Uh, we are... Yeah, we're in drive. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't in, like, second gear. Well, there's no way it could have gotten this fast in second gear. But, um, looks like right about 90 is about the best we can do in the muscle car. But, uh, what's 90 in, uh, kilometers per hour? This is, remember now, the, this is an American car, so this is in miles per hour. That would be, what would that be? Anyway, that'd be what, like, 150 kilometers per hour? 140, 150, I think? I don't know, I can't do the, I can't do the math off the top of my head. Anyhow, let's go ahead and park this thing, turn her off, pay our postage, and we could probably fill up with gas, too. Oh, a lot of people were asking how to fill this thing up with gas. You know what? I'll show you right now. So, the gas tank is here. Yeah, little hidden gas tank there for you. How about that bullshit? Go ahead and grab our, uh, this, this takes regular gas. Oh, people had also asked, what happens if you try and use diesel? So, there you go. You can't. It won't, it won't let you. 
I should say. No matter what you do, you can't use the wrong gas. So, it's- the game isn't that specific. If it was, oh my god, you could really fuck this car up. But yeah, this is the gassing area. Throw your- throw your 98, uh, I don't know, finish octane or whatever. However you guys register your gas over there. Throw it right in the back here next to the uh, license plate. That's how you're gonna fill it up. Then we're gonna pay for the gas, pay for postage. We've got enough fluids that I don't think we're gonna need any additional ones. And then we just gotta work on getting all these parts into our freaking rally car, and it'll be good to go. Taymon, my man, how you doing? Yeah. Kotoshpade, my man. 110 bucks for that. Uh, 2,900 bucks for this. Will do. We've got enough sausage to last us a damn long while. So I think we'll be just fine there. Let's go grab our packages. Holy shit. What is this? Oh, this is the freaking exhaust, isn't it? Oh, shit. Um, all right, we're gonna... I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Um... <laughs> oh, God, where am I gonna put this package? I didn't know it was that big. Uh, all right, oh, yeah, yeah, I know someone right now is like, that's what she said. Um, all right, let me see if I can figure out a way to take this thing home with us. Someone had likened this guy's voice to a Finnish version of Ned Flanders and a country bumpkin. Is that about right? If you had to, if you had to say, like, his accent... And his style of speech is that pretty? Is that pretty? Uh, pretty appropriate. All right, so those are gonna go there. Does this close? No, it doesn't. Um. Oh, what the fuck is he talking about? Do you hear him? <laughs> there we go. Holy shit, it closes. Okay. Now, how am I gonna get this in here? Oh my god. Um. Like, if I lay this down here, will it still be here when we come back? Oh, hold on. I have an idea. Let's um. Let's turn it sideways like this, and then, can I, like, shove it- Oh, God. Can I- Can I shove it inside of here? Oh, brother. Yeah. That's not gonna stay. My freaking package keeps dancing a jig outside of the damn car! Alright, uh, let's, uh, maybe like this? That's kind of sliding out in the back. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, oh, oh God! Alright, maybe if I undo the package. What's the package look like? Go ahead and grab this thing. Oh, shit. It's pretty much like the exact size of the package. Oh! Oh, I think I did it! Yes! Oh, my Tetris skills are strong, baby! Okay, we're set. I think that the racing <laughs> exhaust is inside the car somehow. Oh, yeah! Look at that, it's a perfect fit, man. A perfect fit. Now let's just drive this thing home. We're set, I think I just need to not drive like a maniac and we'll be fine. This thing's kind of swinging around to and fro. If we get into an accident, I have no doubt this racing exhaust is going to go flying through the windshield. So I just really need to be careful about that. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, the racing exhaust is starting to float through my body. Um, shit. Don't you go out of this car. Don't go out of the car. Okay, it's, it's still in the car. It's still in the car. Everything is fine. As long as I kind of keep my eye constantly on the left side of the screen, uh, I'll see it and things will be okay. Oh my god, don't go flying out of the car, you son of a bitch. It's creeping. It's creeping. Don't you leave my sight. Again, I hope that my screw-ups are helping you guys on your own playthroughs. I know I'm like, I know I'm pissing people off because my head is canted to the side here, but I really want to make sure I can kind of see that racing exhaust so it doesn't go flying out from the vehicle. I hope that all of my screw-ups are making it so that when you guys play, you think to yourself, man, I should probably take the van to pick up the racing exhaust instead of being a douchebag like Grand using the smallest amount of storage space that any vehicle has. Well, I guess it's had slightly more storage space than our our little uh, Satsuma or whatever it's called. Well, maybe it doesn't because the the Satsuma we took the rear seat out, so we could have shoved this thing right through the right through the um, the trunk, and it would have just come up through the back seat, through the front seat, and sat up by the dashboard. I would imagine it's moving over like a millimeter every couple of seconds. You can see it slowly moving outside of the car. Oh, please don't go flying out on me. We're, I don't know, maybe a third of the way home, baby. Oh, God, once we start hitting those freaking dirt roads, this is gonna be fucking horrible. <laughs> okay, guys, halfway home. It's still there. Let's see how it does on these dirt roads. Oh, God, I have to turn my head even more now. It's even further outside of my field of view, son of a bitch. Stay with me, exhaust. Oh, 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 and it's raining, of course. 
Of course it would rain right now. It hasn't rained in the game when I've been playing for like, what, 10 episodes? And now that everything's going wrong, it's gonna fucking rain on us? You son of a bitch. All right, man, here's our road. This is the road that goes to our house. We're almost there. Throw the old windshield wipers on. Do the windshield wipers actually do anything in this game? Someone said for me to use them, but I don't know if they like legitimately serve a purpose. Like, is the is the visibility getting any clearer? I don't think it is. I think it, it looks the same to me. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! No 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 no! Oh racing exhaust! Oh, it just pierced through my heart, but it's fine. It's fine. We're finished. A little a little a little shot through the heart is no big deal, man. We wield the hammer of Perkele. Okay, hold on. Turn these off. What the fuck? It just stopped raining and now it's raining again. What kind of weather pattern is this? Is is Finland one of those places where it rains just long enough to piss the sun off? Is that how this goes? Well, boys, we did it. We made it home. The exhaust is still here. That is a good day in my book. Go ahead and park this thing right about here. Excellent. Turn her off. Open the door. Get this poor exhaust out of here. Hold on, let me pull myself out. Go ahead and grab the exhaust. Let's go ahead and start moving all these pieces into our uh, into our garage. Meanwhile, man, the weather is real. The rain's really coming down here. It's a good thing that we have our phone plugged in. Because again, if you don't have the phone plugged in, there we go, nice and dry in here. If you don't have the phone plugged in and lightning strikes, the lightning will hit your, um, will hit your garage and we'll screw all your stuff up. And our last package. All right, let's go put this away, close our, oh, the phone's ringing. What, hold on, close this. What? More sewage jobs, I hope, because we're getting kind of low on money. Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs> I hung up on him right away. Okay, well anyway, a flatbed of firewood. That's what I've been waiting for. I have a flatbed of firewood ready. I, it's actually over at the place where you sell, you sell the firewood to the guy. I had to wait for him to call me though, because the flat, the, the wood for the flatbed appears to be the longest. It takes the longest for you to actually get to. All right, man, the clouds have totally gone away. It is a beautiful day outside now. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn this light on just because we'll probably be working well into the night. And I have never messed with any of these new parts here. I've taken them all out of the boxes. Um, so we got the twin carburetors. We got the steel headers. We got the racing exhaust. We've got the racing muffler, and then way over here, over here, we have, let me go ahead and grab it and put it down here with the rest of the pieces, we have the racing radiator. So we're gonna lose a bunch of our fluids, I imagine. We're at the very least gonna lose all of our coolant. I'm gonna close this door so we have a little bit more space to work in. Go ahead and open this up, pop the hood. There we go. And then we're not gonna need this open any, ouch. We're not gonna need that open any longer. Let's go ahead and open the hood up. And let's start working on this thing. All right, so the carburetors first. We're gonna need an eight millimeter wrench for this. Let's go ahead and that's not it. That's nine because I can't count worth a damn. So let's do the uh, finish headbutt in here, get inside the engine compartment and start messing around with it. All right, so I think we need to take the header off as well as the carburetor. So let's go ahead and start on this. We're gonna start on doing what bolts here? Um, at least these bolts. And then probably these ones as well. Oh God, I hope I'm doing this right. Three more bolts down here. And does that do it? No. Um, okay, where else does the header come off of? Well, it looks like it, let's see here. Oh, there we go. Got it off. All right, so now we've got the carburetor off. Let's go ahead and drop this thing down. All right, so now that now the carburetor's off, let's go ahead and take the air filter off. We need a six for this one. Uh, let me see, how many bolts are this? At the very least, we've got, what, three or four? Let's go ahead and start with this over here. There we go. Go ahead and take that off right there. We'll just put this right about there. Um, oh, beer time. Beer time, boys. When you're working on a car. Oh, we got some beer right over here. There you go. Let's go ahead and grab one of these right here. Oh, let me put my beers back. Let me see if I can get this inside the garbage. This way we're not cluttering everything up. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, well. Another bolt over there. I think we've got two additional bolts right over here and here. Oh, man. I just heard the fly. Things were doing pretty good for a while, but now I'm hearing the damn fly again. Okay, the header's off. That worked out good. Grab this. Put her down over there. For some reason, the hood closed. So let's go ahead and open that back up again. All right, man. First things first. Steel headers. Let's go ahead and throw these beautiful puppies inside. 
All right, man, looking pretty damn good so far. Oh, they are shiny and new as hell. That's what I'm talking about. This thing's gonna run like a freaking dream. Watch out now, there's five bolts on these headers. You don't wanna miss them. It's a uh, one, two, uh, three, and then four, five right over here. Um, I don't know what'll happen. Some people have asked what happens if you miss some bolts. I know that this stuff will come undone. Uh, and go flying down the roadway. I've heard there's all kinds of comments of people who've saying that they've spent long hard hours putting their car together only to find out that they forgot to tighten down some bolts and then shit was flying down the street. Oh yeah, twin carburetors, man. This is gonna, this is gonna be hot. This thing is all chromed out too. Hold on here, let me see if I can, right about there. Oh my God, oh that's so beautiful. Oh yeah. Go ahead and crank these down. I think it's four eight millimeters on these. See that one hidden right there? You don't want those to hide on you, man. Make sure you get them all. One way back here. And then the other one, I think we can kind of hover and see it. Uh, where is it? There we go. I had to go kind of top side for it right there. Don't let it get away from you. All right, let's grab our six millimeter wrench again so that we can put our air filter back on. This thing is not just an afterthought. You gotta, we gotta have this thing looking, sitting, sitting appropriately on top of all of our, our beautiful work here. Hold on, let me see if I can get her, get her going. This is weird. Our crappy air filter is not fitting into position. Is this because like these carburetors have built in better air filters or something? I don't know, man. I wish I knew more about cars. All right, I've tried all sorts of different ways. I think that's just the reality. I, I, maybe, I don't know. I'll have to look this up. You guys can let me know in the comments section too. Is that, is that what this is right here? Is this like the air filtration portion? I don't know, man. I know, I know a little bit about small engines. That's what I worked on. I, I still work on small engines for fun, like uh, line trimmers and edgers and lawn mowers and stuff. But when it comes to this, I'm out of my league. All right, let's do the exhaust next. We're gonna need a seven millimeter for this one. And here's the exhaust. There's two up here by the front connecting into the headers. So let's go ahead and take both of these bolts out, and then there's one way in the back. Right over there. I don't know if you caught it before it fell to the ground. But there you go. There's our old exhaust system. Let's go ahead and grab this out. You probably have a much easier time if you jacked up your car. But man, I've been using the finish headbutt for so long. I'm just used to it at this point. Was this exhaust this dirty when we first got it? Or is it because our, uh, or does it become like that through use? Knowing this game, it probably becomes like that from use, man. This game is like way more realistic and legit than I, than I originally gave it credit for. Don't forget your one seven millimeter for the muffler. It's just back here right on the frame. Right about here. There it goes. Oh yeah, it looks like carbonized shit. All right, baby. New exhaust going on. I always seem to do pretty good getting it right on if I just kind of hover in the middle of the vehicle and do my head butting. Another beer! This is- another beer is just another opportunity to sink a basket. Hold on. Son of a gun! Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, while we're doing this, hold on. You boys like basketball? Yeah! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Okay, that was, uh, man. This thing behaves. Actually, it behaves kind of like a basketball. Alright, let's try this one more time. Hold on. Oh, God damn. Come on, baby, get there. Son of a bitch. All right, you got to get down low. Ah, oh, off the rim. Yay, I'm going to lame it in. Yay, two points. I don't want to lose this. <laughs> Let's keep this inside of our garage. Just kind of throw it back over there. There we go. All right, time to tighten the old exhaust up. Man, this is much easier to see thanks to how good it looks. Holy crap. This is awesome. I'm going to grab this muffler because we're going to put this on in just a second, too. We might as well bring this all the way back over here. Once we get our one bolt on, we'll throw this on. And then it's just the uh, coolant system. One little bolt right over here. And there we go. Nice and tight. Uh. And now let's go ahead and grab this muffler and put this thing on. Right about there. Oh, that didn't work at all. What the, f what the fuck? How come it went flying off? Hold on. There we go. Holy crap. I don't know why it exploded off the first time. Probably because I had it on backwards or something. Anyway. Go ahead and throw her on right there. Boom! Yeah! Okay, now just the coolant system. Let's, go, let's get that radiator in. Now it's four seven millimeters for the radiator, and I assume we're going to lose all of our fluids once we pull this thing off. There's one right over here. Now I wonder what happens if I take this thing off without taking off the hoses first. Hopefully, like, the whole thing doesn't, uh, doesn't, like, get destroyed or something. All right, two more over on this side, and that should do it. 
Last one, baby, right here. Here we go. And boop. Okay, good. It just came off. Oh, yeah. Racing radiators for the win. Get up inside of there. Where do you where do you want to go? Right about there? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Crank her down again, just four places, and then we're gonna be set to go. I'm gonna have to check the uh, I'm gonna have to check the coolant though, just to make sure we probably lost a bunch of coolant, to be quite honest. One more bolt kind of hiding through the frame here. And one more down here, and that makes four, and we are set, baby. Pop the hood up. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and we should probably check all of the fluids. But we're gonna start right away by just getting the uh, the coolant going. All right, man, grab your coolant, bring it over here, turn it upside down. You don't need to take the lid off or nothing. And yep, see that right there? No coolant inside. That is why. Oh my God, this coolant was a pain in my nuts. It was like impossible to find the angle. I got the angle a bunch of times, and then it would just like fill up a little bit, and then it would just disappear. And then it would not not the coolant wouldn't disappear. I'm just saying like. The opportunity for me to actually fill this up would disappear. I don't know why. All right, so we got an empty coolant container. Let's go ahead and throw this in the garbage. We're gonna need one more. Do I have another one inside of the garage? No, I don't. Let's go over here. Got plenty of coolant, baby. If there's one thing I got plenty of, it's coolant. There we go. Fill this the rest of the way up. Then we'll check the oil. The brake fluid shouldn't be down at all. Um, I don't know why it would be down if it is. The oil, I, I think you burn oil in this game no matter what. So, let's go ahead and put this down here. All right, let's go ahead and check our oil real quick. Take this off. Go grab a little bit of our uh, 10W40 or whatever it is. Plop it right down over... Oh, shit. Plop it right down over here. Yeah, see that right there? See, we burned a little bit of oil for whatever reason. There we go. Go ahead and tap that off nice and high. Here, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing up right like the other one. How about that? There you go. Put our lid back on, and now the last little bit is just our brake fluid. But we don't need the brake fluid to start it up. So let's see right here, baby. This is it, man. This is the time. This is the time. Let's go ahead and start it up. See how it sounds. Oh, come on, baby. Don't you screw up on me. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Starts right up. Um, so we're going to have to... We're probably going to have to adjust this, uh, this carburetor big time. Because you can see it's already way down at 10.7. So we're gonna do adjustments next time. Guys, we got all the performance parts in, baby. The car's running, things are doing good, and eventually we're gonna participate in the races and in the rally. We may have to get this thing professionally geared, though. I'm not sure if the way the gears are right now are gonna help us win anything. Guys, hope you're enjoying my summer car, Satan's Pussy Mobile. Satan Man's Pussy Mobile, looking fantastic. With all chromed out parts, I just gotta bring the rest of this stuff inside just in case we need it for something. Till next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.